Hey everybody, welcome to my garden. Today I thought I would take you on a mindful garden walk. This is part of my garden therapy series where I demonstrate how I use mindfulness in my garden for mental health and stress relief. Um, I do have some videos where I go into a little bit more detail on the benefits of spending time in green spaces and using mindfulness, so I can link those um, below or at the end of the video for you to check out. Um, but in a nutshell, mindfulness is using all of your senses to be in the present moment. So rather than worrying about things that have happened in the past or worrying about things that could happen in the future, uh, we're just gonna focus on being in the here and now um, by pay paying attention to our senses and what we are observing in the moment. So um, this also doubles as a garden tour not a full garden tour, but we'll go around and just kind of see what I observe and um, enjoy the garden. So it is a little bit breezy and it is a Saturday, so there's quite a bit of traffic. Hopefully you can still hear everything. Um, okay, so in the morning, I like to start here on my back porch. Uh, I have some pots up here. So I like to go around and check out how everything in my pots are doing. And part of this mindfulness is getting really getting up close and seeing, you know, what do the flowers actually look like? What types of insects are on your plants? What do your plants smell like? What do they feel like? So this is just some salvia. I... This is my first time trying this plant. It's called Gara, and it is really interesting. I like the way that these really tall um, stems come out, and then at the really at the very tip, you get these blooms and. It is very relaxing to sit here and just kind of watch the flowers blow in the breeze. I think next year I will plant more of these. One plant I love is uh, lamb's ears. Um, these are, if you have kids or you'd like a sensory garden, uh, these are a great plant. They're super tough. They have blooms, these pink blooms. They attract pollinators um, and they feel like felt. So these are a great way to get that um, sense of touch from the garden. You can see how velvety these look. Hopefully, if I can focus. Uh, maybe not. Um, but they're really tough. They self-seed and they come back every year. So. My black-eyed Susans are, they're close. They're getting ready to bloom. I 
This is one of three types of yarrow I'm growing. Um, yarrow is another great plant. It's tough. It can take drought. It gets bigger every year. It comes in a lot of different colors. So this one I think is called pastels, summer pastels. Um, but it, you get these bright pink blooms, but you also get these soft pink blooms and also some yellows. That's another good one. So this is a huge patch of raspberry wine bee balm and I check this every day to see if it's blooming. We're getting close. These are so pretty and the hummingbirds love them so I'm excited. I also have some penstemon that's it's on its way out. This is another good one for butterflies and hummingbirds. That breeze feels good. It has been incredibly hot. It's been a hot, dry spring. So any breeze is very welcome. This is my, my little pond garden. Uh, it's really taking off. It's the past couple of weeks, it's, um, I started off with two water lettuce and they have just, they're spreading like crazy. And my water lily has put on a lot of new growth. So that's exciting. I also come out and check this every day to see if it's, scent up a bloom and I also like to just stop and take a look and see what sorts of insects are using my pond. I did find the other day, actually I see one right here, I don't know if you could see it or not, some snails in here. Can you see it? Yep. There's one which are good because they eat the algae. This is also good for, I see a lot of birds in here and um, bees and different insects can come and land on the leaves and get their water that way too. I can hear lots of birds. Another thing you start to notice as you are observing things in your yard or your garden is you, you start to notice how different plants behave. So. This is spiderwort. This is one of my favorite garden plants. Um, super tough. It's a native plant. Pollinators love it. But it has these clusters of flower heads and each uh, cluster opens up once. So one or two of these will open every morning and then by the end of the day, they close back up and die off. And then tomorrow morning, uh, one of these will open up. So it's pretty interesting. I have 
some Coriapsis blooming. See some bees buzzing around. more of that yarrow in this flower bed. We had a storm a few days ago and we had some pretty strong winds so some of my plants got knocked over unfortunately. But they're still alive. And then I have a ton of milkweed that is just sprouting up everywhere. Uh, I'm okay with that because milkweed is really important for monarch butterflies, um, but it can get uh, a little aggressive, so I do have to pull. But. Another thing I like to do is come and see if I have any caterpillars. Um, and the easiest way to do that is to have milkweed, look to see if you can find any little holes in the leaves because that's most likely a little caterpillar. So like this leaf right here. Makes me think there might be a caterpillar. Oh. oh, can you see it? He's so small. Ah, oh, there he is right there. That's a monarch caterpillar. They start off so tiny and they get pretty big. So that's pretty fascinating to watch. I don't see any other nibbles in the milkweed. I'm gonna go check out, I have another big patch of milkweed by my front door. I mean, it is really trying to take over a little bit, but that's okay, because it's important. I have some different Coreopsis blooming up here. These got knocked over that storm. Um, I don't know if I see any other evidence of caterpillars. I was out here earlier too looking. I haven't seen a lot of monarch butterflies yet. Hopefully it's just because um, it's still June. I mean this is all, this milkweed is blooming already. There's a honeybee. There's two. Yeah, pollinators love this. It smells so good. It's like, I can't even describe it. It's like a rich honey scent. They smell very sweet. Um, but these are blooming pretty early. And I think it's just because we've had such a hot, dry spring. Everything's just really ahead of schedule, so. I'm hoping the butterflies will come. This is one of my favorite things about the garden is just watching insects and critters benefit from the things we've planted.
Okay. Another thing I'm checking for is cone flowers. They've got buds. They, oop, this one's starting to bloom. We're close. Have some more penstemon back there. Oh, I have some daisies blooming. I haven't gone to check those out yet. We'll be on that one already. Look at all of these flower heads. This is going to be so pretty. And my hydrangea has some flower heads on it. Get out of here without trampling my plants. Uh, this catmint another favorite. I've seen a lot of honeybees on here. They really like this. Let's go check out the vegetable garden side. This is what I do every day, multiple times a day, <laughs> when I can. Um, this is butternut squash. It looks like it's getting ready to flower. This is acorn squash, and this has already flowered and already has some squash starting. another acorn. We have some little zucchini starting too. Right there. I cannot believe how big our tomatoes are at this point. It's the middle of June and they've already grown a ton. They've got, they're flowering. Um, so the hot weather is definitely benefiting the vegetable garden. Although we have had to water a little bit more this season. Have some flowers on our Pepper plants. I also like to look at our asparagus. Um, asparagus are so interesting because once they get a better angle after you're done picking them and you kind of let them go to seed they get these really tall fronds this is an interesting plant I mean this is already this is going on six feet tall. It's taller than I am. The 
It's just a bucket of weeds. That's another part about being mindful in the garden for me is not letting the work and the weeds feel, you know, not getting overwhelmed by the weeds. I do not feel the need to have a perfect garden. There are weeds in my garden. Um, I weed my garden enough to make sure that it's not, you know, they're not competing with the plants that I want. Um, but I'm really not focused on having a perfect, you know, clean, weed-free garden. Because then that takes the fun out because there, there will always be weeds. It's impossible to not have weeds unless you're spraying a lot of chemicals and which we do not do. Um, so you kind of just have to, I try to find a way to just live peacefully with the weeds. Something else we've done is put two kind of standalone pollinator beds on this side of the lawn to attract pollinators and keep them over by the garden so that they can uh, pollinate our vegetables. Um, and this is something you can do in any size yard. Um, find a little spot and just kind of make your own little pollinator patch. Um, have some more Coreopsis in here and this is a another type of yarrow this is a native yarrow it's yellow and it is humongous this is already probably four feet tall and it is so tough it gets blasted by the Sun over here I have not watered this since I think this is the third year third season I've had it I haven't watered it since the first season so if you have a sunny dry area this plant is amazing pollinators love it and it has a really interesting smell it's not really a floral smell I I don't know how to describe it It's really light though. And I also have some St. John's wort that's in bloom. Bees love this one too. And this one's kind of a nice low growing shrub that spreads. And we are close to getting raspberries. They're, they're right there. <laughs> we have a couple that are almost ripe, but this thing is loaded with berries. I think that's all I have for today. I hope this video encourages you to get out into your own yard or any green space. It could be a park, it can be a forest preserve, and just take some time to observe what's going on around you. Um, feel the breeze, smell the plants. look at the bugs it's good for you um, if you have any questions about anything you saw feel free to put a comment down below otherwise I will see you in the next video